Okay, so today's kind of a cleanup day and kind of a uh, pick up things at the auction that I just remembered right now that I bought a week ago. Day. Yeah, we got to get those things too. So I bought a 4640 at the auction. Then I bought a Bobcat skid letter. I bought a, no, Yamaha Grizzly. We bought a Yamaha Grizzly. That's right. And I brought the Yamaha Grizzly back, but we need to go grab those things yet. And I need to clean up the farm. I'm going to do like a little farm tour today too along with it it'll almost maybe i'll call this video farm tour to kind of show you guys what we have for equipment and what i'm planning to do with equipment for the farm but no this is totally farming video today we're not actually so the big old brent almost 1600 bushel grain cart is going to go in here oh so i kind of switched some things up without you guys and i put all the equipment away and cleaned it all off real nice like a lot of the like our 7r and our uh, 8130 i just cleaned off completely and put it away so i want to kind of like i said i kind of want to do a little little building tour question is are we gonna fit in here with the combine or are we gonna hit the combine so we got this unhooked now how much room do we have to spare okay we had room to spare i could, definitely could have came back yet but i think it's fine for now because pretty much we can still fit in equipment to the right of the grain cart so we're all good but for now basically what i'm doing with my, my storage plans like this is this is i want everything to be perfect here so like a lot of the stuff we're not going to use and move forever like that combine obviously we're not going to use it to next fallish uh i'm kind of putting in there same with the grain cart the planter we're going to use in the spring that's fine it can stay in there but like the tractors that we may be using say i throw a snow blower on one of these i'm going to put like a lot of the main tractors in this building right here specifically the 8970 is going to go in here now pop the garage door open there we go okay building tour so here is our 8970 that I bought. Actually, I bought at the beginning of this farm. So like, I guess you could say a year ago, like, like nine months ago, I bought this tractor, the 8970. Same with the 4020. Watch, we don't really use the 4020 much, to be honest. We didn't even use it for bush hogging. We, dude, I think the only time we use this tractor, like actually, yeah, for a recap this year, the only time we use this tractor, I think, I don't even think we use the loader. I think all we did is pull the header with it, the header out to the field over there. I didn't use the 4020 at all. So say I need, even though I love this tractor, say I need to sell a tractor, maybe we'll sell the 420 even though it's a classic to keep around 7r we just bought this what like a month ago yeah we bought the 7310r um we used it i guess we kind of used it on the grain cart for like a day then we realized that our grain cart had issues then we got a bigger grain cart too big for the 7r so we put the grain cart on the 8970 and this just went on gravity wagons and then i guess we bush hog with it so we we got some use out of it 8130 got used a lot this year uh planting we use the 8130 um do we do any tillage i think we pulled a track I, I think to be honest i think we pulled a couple tractors out with the 8130 the 8130 might have got stuck this year too but we use that and then gravity wagons with the 8130 yeah we use the tractor a lot so it's these are our two workhorses though 7r 8130 actually 8970 we used a lot too pick up a truck i bought the uh, let's see well i don't know if you guys know this or not but i had a cummins before this we had dodge cummins uh that was a nice truck then we moved down to f250 xlt uh, cause we, that, that, that Cummins had issues. I can't talk about now this puppy, the razor 1000, this thing looks sick, but I bought a Yamaha Grizzly. So this Yamaha or this, sorry, this razor is going to go for sale. So actually something I'm going to do right now or soon is put this out in front of the farm. This is going to go for sale, but yeah, I'm going to put this out. If you guys want it, swing on by, shoot me an offer. We'll see. Now my house, um, doors are still coming. And then garage is still coming. I got to pick out what garage exactly I want. To be honest, right now, I can't find a good garage. I really want a dope garage for that. I can't find one to go there for now. So for now, we're putting our truck in the shed. Uh, but the house is almost complete there. Okay, this shed, obviously, you guys saw it. We got the Brent. We got the S770, which turned out to be a good combine. Unfortunately, during the fall, we had that 9650 couldn't handle 12 of our corn heads so we had to upgrade sadly we spent like 200 grand just in the trade-off cost which is insane and we got the db60 here yeah that building if i told you guys what was inside i'd have to kill you okay on to this building we got the nice cat dozer the d6k which we used a, a couple times this year but in the future i definitely want to use it for more construction and do a couple more construction projects it'd be sweet i definitely want to get an excavator because right now we're renting an excavator and it's not the best excavator bush hog we used one time this year we'll get it she'll get a lot more use out of her wilson yes we're going to use this a ton big tex i i feel like i use this a lot and the cultivator i need to get a bigger cultivator i think i want to go to uh five wing I don't know if five wins a term, but I want to go to a five win. If we say this is one win, that's one win, that's one win, we'll call this a three win. I want to go to a five win. I'm forgetting the name of what the wins are called, but I'm going to call it a win. And then this is just all rental. Watch, we're actually going to use this low boy today to pick up the 4640. 
and the Bobcat skill loader that I bought. And lastly, but not least, the semi we're gonna use today, the L9000 that we bought a couple weeks ago from Stevio. My boy Stevio hooked me up with the L9000. This looks so we. I was thinking about painting it like a blue color, but I don't know if that's if we're gonna do that or not. I have no idea. Now it is cold out. I've let the L9000 warm up for a bit, and then we're gonna actually go unload that excavator off that rental trailer, unload the rental excavator off the rental trailer, and then use that trailer while we still have it for rent to, pull, to haul back my 4640 and the Bobcat. So that way I can get it all in one load. Actually, you know what I could do instead of putting in the work of unloading that trailer and unloading the excavator, I could technically use my own big tax trailer here and just pull it with the semi. I mean, these axles, the weight will handle it. I think the weight is there. Question is now, do I use, ah, oh, dude, it'd be, it'd be pretty darn sweet to use my pickup truck. It'd be a little, little, little overkill, or it'd be a little too much for my pickup truck. It'd be darn fun to haul it with my pickup truck. A Ford or the Ford? Hmm. I kind of want to challenge today, guys. Even though I love, I love this L9000, I do want to challenge. Let's have some fun today. The winter's been boring, man. I've just been inside all my house. There's been nothing to do. So if you don't already know, on this F250, this is just in game, not in real life. There's two different options for your rear end. You can either get towing or standard. Standard makes it so you have a lot softer suspension. Towing makes it so you have a lot, I guess, leaf springs. I get, towing makes it so you have maybe, let's say, a lot more leaf springs and it's not as squishy suspension here. This is on standard. So if you put some weight on this rear end, this thing squats. So it's gonna be an interesting day. While we're at it, I'm gonna put my razor outside for sale. See if we get any, any bait. I thought, you know, while, while I'm sitting on my computer here, I might as well just, just toss it and just mention Apex Game PCs. If you want, check them out. 10% off using code squad. Uh, right here, we have the squad PC. I, um, but seriously, guys, uh, like early November, we're going to be running a huge sale. So like say, because I know a lot of people are going to want and ask for them for Christmas. So like on early November, we're going to try to run. I think it'll roughly be a 10. I can't say for sure. Can't give that exact number out. But I think it'll be like a 10 to 20% off sale early November. So that way you can, you can order it. Your parent can order it. Santa can order it. And get it in time for christmas so that's what we're trying to do with with apex game pcs so if you want put it on your wish list now i don't know if you guys have noticed but we have three flagpoles on the farm one flagpole which is hawkeyes uh, america needs farmers a and f hawkeyes usa then we have iowa american flag and then we have another one of those that was literally just for a thumbnail because those flags look dope in thumbnails and i forgot to sell that one that's 100 honest that's why that's there so we'll get rid of that one honest to god I, I i got i got down the i got down the road and i was like i i kind of feel like i'm missing something and i look at my rearview mirror i'm like oh yeah i should probably bring my trailer to tow these back good idea man i can't i seriously left the farm without the trailer there we go we're connected now you can see this this the truck actually you know squat down a little bit it'll be crazy once we put equipment on there i think we and i think we have length here so we should be good as far as length goes go Yo, birdie so you guys have seen the farm and and one thing i really want to ask you guys is kind of like this is almost like a year-end video kind of wrapping up the year end year end in in like seasons because it's midwinter it's almost it's almost the the new year what do you guys think of my farm like at the actual build of the farm the style of the farm out of 10 what would you give it? And just for a scale, Austin's farm, Austin's farm would be a zero. And then uh, I guess a 10, a 10 would be like the farm you want to go up to when you go to heaven. Okay. Like the dream, dream farm. So there's a scale log for you. West Virginia. He's holding biscuits, but the business beat the system code. And will you tell all your friends you've got your guns in my head? I love that stereo system in that truck, man. Okay, 4640, we didn't forget about you. <laughs> it's, been here, it's been sitting here for like a week. So, we're gonna cold start the 4640. It is 30 degrees out. It's pretty darn tough on an old tractor like this. But we'll see if she fires. Come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> Holy crap, she fired up. <laughs> okay, it's in cold start mode right now. So she'll run high idle for a little bit. So let's go start the Bobcat, which is like all the way down here. And we can start it, let it run for a bit, and then drive it to the trailer. I think the Bobcat, since it's pretty darn new, it'll most likely start up a lot better than that old 4640. There we go, she fired up. Now the Bobcat actually came with a tooth bucket, but if you guys know Bobcats in Farm Sim, they are absolutely a joke. Like there's a couple good Bobcats out there. CSM Line makes a heck of a Bobcat. Now this is where I guys, I gotta be completely honest with you guys. Like Bobcats in Farm Sim are just horrible. 
Like, sorry, I shouldn't say bobcats, skid loaders. Skid loaders. I mean, skid loaders in general are just horrible. CSM modding makes a good modded bobcat that is better than the in-game skin loaders that Giants made themselves. That's, that, like, I know I, I'm really thankful for everything Farm Sim's done and stuff for me, but I gotta be honest, when I see something kind of bad, and then it's, it, it's good, people can use that and then create it better once Farm Sim 2021 comes out, maybe they'll have a better skin loader. And sometimes it's good to say bad things about people, in a way, in, in, a, in a good criticism way, yes. So the skin loader's going up, now this is gonna be tough. I think. We'll see how this does. Okay, we're up. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> Holy crap. This thing is rocking. So I think what I'm going to have to do is most likely put this all the way to the front. I don't know how, how far we're going to go, but just for safety reasons, we're going to go all the way up. So that way I know for sure I have enough room for the 4640. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. Now this might not be legal, but the cops here, there's very few around here. We should be fine. Yeah. I, yeah. The cops love me, dude. They love me. <laughs> kind of. The Buck's, Buck's a cool guy. Actually, me and him don't get along the best when I'm doing illegal activities. Okay, Bobcat's loaded up. Now, 4640. Oh, you guys see that? So when I first went on here, the back end of the trailer will kind of lift up, which is kind of... That's pretty darn realistic. I like that. There <laughs> we go, man. We're ready to rock and roll. I think it's all good. I think everything's ready. Holy crap, dude. See, this is... I, I should say this is a little unrealistic. I apologize, but this is... Gosh darn fun. This is going to make my winter, man, because winter's been pretty darn boring. So one thing I'm going to try to do is move the tractor back just a little bit more uh, to kind of put more weight on the rear end to kind of level things out a bit. There we go. And now I should be able to scooch the skid loader all the way back, too, which will take some weight off the truck. Okay, we are locked and loaded. <laughs> you know you're squatting when your mud, your mud flaps are almost scraping the ground there. Holy crap. He's pulling her all right. <laughs> This is crazy. One thing is you can kind of, obviously you know you have a heavy load, but you can look back to, along with the mud, that, mud, mud flap thing, you look back and you, if you can pretty much see what's in the back of your, what's in the back of your bed from your, your driver's seat, like you are definitely, think about the angle to that. That's crazy. Unless you're like a 10 foot, foot tall dude, your head's like sticking out of the sunroof and then you can see back there. So I heard Austin got some cows. I wonder if those are his. Super duty never fails it. We made it, boys. Oh, shoot. Spoke too soon. Oh, come on. We can roll in there. Come on. Oh, are you joking me, dude? Are you serious? <sighs> Smells. Holy crap, dude. Legit, all I heard was just grinding. And I think my transmission just is toast right there, dude. I... Are you... You actually serious, dude? What the heck? I don't think we, I, I don't think I can move this. I, are you, oh my gosh, dude. This thing smells, it's just, I can't limp it. I can't do anything. Transmission's toast. So I think what I gotta do is have something just push me in there. I, I should be able to put in neutral. Well, somebody must've called in the highway division. Uh, Cause he's out here and he, he came to me and he's like, he's like, sir? You have to get your truck off the roadway. And I'm like, okay, calm down, man. Calm down. And he's kind of all yelling at me. So he's in his truck now. So I got to get this thing moved. Oh, as a uh, orange dude over there is going to get mad at me. Um, but he's he's pr he's protecting my, my rear end right now. So what we're going to do, I got a plan. Uh, he gave me his hitch. He got a little tow hook, which was perfect. He had it on the back of his truck. Uh, and I'm going to hook up the 8970 to the front of this truck. And we're going to just pull it in the driveway. That way we can at least move in the driveway. So that's all I'm going to do. Fire up the 970 hook the hook to the rear end of the 970 and that beast will just pull this truck on through, I think. Well, we got the pickup truck pulled in. Uh, <laughs> that transmission is toast. So now I got to load everything off pretty much. For now, I'm going to leave the 8970 running because it's cold out. I may need this again to push the, to pull the, to yank the truck around. For now, we're going to leave it running. But what I'm going to do is just unload this stuff, get this stuff off of here, unhook the trailer, and then figure out how to get a new transmission in this truck. If I should do it, if somebody else should do it, I gotta figure that out yet. Or have the old 46, he's cold starting. Oh yeah, there we go. So technically we have a new tractor in the shop. For now, I'll put this right here. One thing it does is it needs a bath though. It, I can't believe the guys at the auction, whoever ran the auction did not do a good job cleaning this up. But uh, we'll clean it up though. It's all good. So 4640s out there, or in here I guess. 87, 80, 8970 is out here, and we'll get the bobcat off. There we go, and we're off. 
Now, one thing I'm not liking about this Bobcat is it does not control good at all. We may have to trade this in for something else. We got a really good price to where I think I could sell it for more than I bought it for. But right now, this is just horrible. Like, if I can't even drive it on and off the trailer and just drive to the barn, like, I'm literally trying to drive to the barn. This is... No, it's not going to cut it. We're going to have to get something else. This is me trying to drive to the barn. To the shed, I should say. <laughs> Come on, man. We can do it. There we go. The Bobcat's kind of in there. Perfect. That's where I'm going to put it for now because that's where it kind of just guided to. Um, okay. So, the pickup truck. What is going to happen with this thing? Man, I kind of want to just tow it in here. I wouldn't mind just putting it, get it pushed in here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. My sim was out here. So for now, I think I'm going to just put the pickup truck in here. Ah, we got work to do on this thing. Uh, I think what I'll do is just probably unhook the gooseneck right here. <sighs> Holy crap. Okay, since we didn't have a load, what I was able to do, it was tough, but I was able to just run with it and just push it in here. It's, I mean, this is a heavy truck. I was just able to hold the door and then turn the steering wheel. So we didn't even need the 8970 from there to there. But we got the truck in here. This thing is toast. I don't know if I'm going to get a new truck. Or if I'm just going to replace the transmission and keep moving on. But darn it, dude. It was... It's all good. It's all good now, I guess. Kind of. I don't really have anything. Maybe we shouldn't sell that Razor. Because I might have to use it as my daily. But anyways, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, guys. And hey, we'll be... In case you're watching this, like the day it got released. I'll be on tomorrow morning. And we'll have a video up sometime tomorrow morning. Because we always post on Saturday morning. So, thanks for watching. And hey, I will see you guys later. Thanks, guys.